Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It is I, Galen Apt, of Venture Into Change. And I want to wish you all a happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing so well. Today on My Awareness Zone, episode 20. I can't believe I'm already at 20 episodes. That's pretty cool. Pretty impressed by that. Um, I want to talk about the announcement I made last week, which was changing the name of my business from the Style Sherpa to Galen Apt. Um, because the Style Sherpa is sunsetting and Galen Apt is rising. And um, I guess I kind of, I'm coming on here today to make a little bit of a confession. I have a confession to make. One of the reasons this um, rebrand, this name change has been such a big deal for me is that I've never really liked my name. Never really cared for the name Galen. Never resonated with me. It just, it wasn't something I, I was in love with for sure. You know, some people love their name. I did not. Um, I always wanted a more girly name. I wanted to be Cindy or something, something more normal, right? Uh, and girly. I definitely wanted it to be much more of a girly name. Um, I was named after a football player, so hence the masculine issues. Um, and even the way it's spelled is um, the way men named Galen spell it. Um, so Galen is a man's and a woman's name, male and female, so it can be either or. Um, and uh, my parents chose to name me after Galen Fisk of the Cleveland Browns phenomenal, right? Uh, I'm a football fan for sure, um, but did not want that name when I was little. Um, I was already tall and kind of quirky and my name was just like one more thing that made me feel awkward and like I didn't fit in. Um, like I never fit in anywhere. Like the world was never going to accept me. Um, that I was always going to be that thing that nobody quite knew what to do with. Um, and, and I would say that's definitely a quality that I carry with me for sure. People don't quite know what to do with it, but it's interesting and fun, right? Um, so hence my sort of discontent with my name. Um, and I think that is probably one of the biggest reasons why when I started my uh, original business, the Style Sherpa, eight years ago, I really didn't want to use my name. I was like, ah, it's too hard to spell. Nobody will understand it. I'm going to come up with something fun and clever. And so I came up with a Style Sherpa, which is near and dear to my heart, right? Loved it. It was clever. I loved the alliteration. It made me so happy. Um, but it, it gave me a persona to hide behind, if I'm being completely and utterly honest at this point. Um, so that, you know, if you didn't like the Style Sherpa, that you didn't like the Style Sherpa had nothing to do with me. You weren't you weren't rejecting me. You were rejecting the Style Sherpa, and it kept me from having to feel so exposed and vulnerable showing up as myself. Um, but I ha had a key moment a couple of years ago. Um, I was scrolling through Instagram, and I came upon this post um, that said, our souls choose our names before we are born. And that stopped me in my tracks that day, because I thought... Really? Really? I mean, why was I so disconnected from this name that evidently I had chosen for myself before I even got here, right? So that was a little disconcerting and it made me go, what, what's going on? I, I, I need to unpack that. Like, what is going on? So I dove deeper into my self-discovery journey. Um, I was already doing it, but now this gave me sort of another avenue to follow. And something magical happened as I dove deeper. I learned some cool things about myself. Um, I'm still learning cool things about myself and I'm learning kind of crappy stuff about myself. Um, things that aren't my favorite, but we're all made up of light and dark, right? Um, but what happened is I started to sort of become fond of this tall, quirky person I've come to know. Like I shifted the lens I was looking at her through. Um, and I began to see myself differently. I began to accept myself, like really accept myself. And I've come to realize, um, and other people have told me that a regular name wouldn't have suited me. Um, 
it would have changed so many of my experiences, my mindsets, my challenges, um, the way I heard things, the way I saw things. Having a different name com completely changes how people interact with you because there's a lot to a name. Um, and it turns out, I think Galen actually suits me pretty well. Weirdly, right? My husband has always said that. My husband loves my name. He's so cute. Oh, I love your name. I love your name. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. I love him. He's so sweet. Um, as it turns out, though, not only was my husband okay with it, but the rest of the world was fine with who I was, too. They were fine with my name. It suited me. As far as they were concerned, it was fine. I was the one keeping myself awkward and sitting on the outskirts looking in. And so here I am at 54, years young, um, and finally not only accepting, um, but stepping into my name. Um, and that is why this whole thing is kind of big deal for me. I'm finally going, you know what? I think I'm okay with my name. Not only am I okay with it, but I'm going to lead with it. And that is why it's a big deal. So that was a big change for me, a big change in mindset on how I was viewing myself um, and how I was viewing what everyone else was seeing. I now am able to go, when someone says, oh, what a beautiful name, I thank you. And I can accept the compliment, whereas before I'd be like, thanks. Yep. So it's a completely different mindset. And it um, it's been a big change and it has really allowed me to step into this rebrand with great joy and anticipation. Um, cause it's really amazing how these, um, seemingly small realizations, right? Seemingly small can have a huge effect on your trajectory as a person and your dis discovery and your development and how you feel and how you interact. Um, and just how you show up in the world. It's discoveries like this that have led me to want to be the guide for others who want to start looking at themselves a little closer. Um, people who want to value themselves enough to ask questions of themselves and are really working on finding those answers because the reward for um, getting to really know yourself far, 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 far outweighs the discomfort um, that you might experience along the way. Trust me. Without having this realization, I don't think I would have been able to step into this um, next iteration, this expansion of my business and my offerings as myself. I don't think I would have been able to do it. I think I would have probably stayed um, a little smaller and probably stayed sort of behind that moniker of the Style Sherpa or just shifted it slightly. Um, but I don't think I would have stepped fully out from behind it. So it did have a big effect. A small change, small change in the way I was seeing things and thinking about things has had a huge impact on me and my business and now hopefully on other people who I'm sharing this stuff with, which is very exciting. Um, so if you're intrigued with the idea of getting to know yourself, start by asking yourself a couple of these questions and see what answers come. Okay, so I want you to get out a piece of paper and I want you to write these questions down. Uh, what's something you have always liked about yourself? How has that benefited you during your life? What's something you have always wanted to change or wished was different about yourself? And what value do you see in this way of being different? How would being different in this way make your life better? And then I want you to answer those questions. You know, did answers come right away? Did you go, oh, I know the answer to this? Or are you like, I don't know. So if if answers came right away, I want you to do a quick observation. Do you think they were honest answers? Or are they answers that you thought or you were expected to give? And then if you didn't get any answers, if you're like, I don't have any answers, ask again. Um, cause it might take a few tries for you to get answers. Um, especially if you haven't really shown yourself any interest before this, if you've never really talked to yourself and asked yourself these questions and really sort of tried to get to know yourself, there's going to be a little resistance and go, you don't, what do you care? But after you've asked a couple of times, it might be like, well, maybe, maybe you do care. Maybe you are interested in 
where this came from and why I feel this way. So I just want you to be kind to yourself when you're asking these questions. I want you to show yourself some grace and I want you to know that you're doing great. So I hope you have enjoyed my little story today. Um, uh, it was a little, uh, it felt vulnerable for me to, to say this out loud, thinking about it, but after doing it, it doesn't, it didn't feel vulnerable doing it in the slightest. So it feels actually really, really good to say, I think I'm okay with my name now. So anyway, that is all I have to say. I hope you take those questions and um, ask them of yourself and answer them truthfully. And if you want to talk about them, what your answers were, let me know. I'm around. Have a great day.